is Mike Callahan, Dr. FileFinder, and welcome back to our special Butterscotch.com series on upgrading Windows Vista to Windows 7. We're moving right along in our installation. All the Windows files have been expanded, it's installed features and updates. Now it's getting ready to go into the process of transferring your file settings and programs over. First, it's going to restart. And here we see Windows starting again. Now Windows has come back up. It's in the process of transferring file settings and programs. Getting everything moved over. So you'll have it available in Windows 7. So Windows 7 is still in the process of transferring file settings and programs. We're at 35%. Now setup's going through and checking the video performance of the machine. Making sure everything is okay there. Now it's asking for your product key. You'll pardon me if I don't let you see that. Once you've put in your product key, just click Next. You can also elect whether to activate Windows 7 as soon as you install it, or you can wait. You have 30 days. We're going to use the recommended settings. Our time zone is set. Time is correct. If not, you can make changes. Time zones are here in a drop-down list. Click Next. Now you can say whether you're a home network, if all the computers are in your home, and you recognize them, work network, public network. This network's in my house, so I'm connecting to the network and applying the right settings. This is one of the cool features in Windows 7. And now it's finishing up the last few touches, comparing the desktop, And we're just about ready to begin our Windows 7 experience. This has been a multiple part series on upgrading from Windows Vista to Windows 7. Make sure you watch all of the parts. And that's all there is to it.